everybody, it's Christine the Honk Girl, and today I am talking about Quest from Redondo Beach's new game, Amnesia. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit that subscribe, turn those notifications, and if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel. First of all, I am so excited about this new location. Quest Room has two games there already. We went to the grand opening. Thank you guys so much for inviting us out. They are incredible adventures. I love the location. It's really easy to park. It's at a mall, so it's inside of a mall, not like a strip mall, so make sure you give yourself ample time for parking, getting inside the mall, finding the location. And if you're early, you can play some VR next door or like go to the food court or whatever. So you have plenty of things to do if you're early, but don't be late. Uh, their lobby is really cool. This is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be when I was like, oh, it's in a mall. So the games are actually really, really big. Uh, I think they're two to six players. They are not your standard escape room, like puzzle and lock kind of game. These are much more immersive. They're much more of uh, adventures. So Amnesia was actually my favorite. Actually, I like both so much. I like things about both of them, but I had a lot of fun because of where I ended up, I think, in Amnesia, which was really fun for me. You do have a little bit of um, a different uh, opening, depending on where you're at, so that's cool. And there is a live actor element, which is also awesome. Uh, the game masters are really great there. The staff is just really, really great. They have amazing customer service. So uh, the... The live actor element is also really awesome. So in this game, you are one of the students and you are going to visit your professor and he's crazy and eccentric and weird and silly and missing. And you wake up, you've been drugged or something, you don't know what happened and there you are and you've got to work your way through to figure out what's going on and what happened to you and where you are. Or well, you kind of know where you are, but how you got there, I guess. So I loved really everything about this. I love the way that they did the storytelling. I love the actor. I love the uh, set design. I love the props. I love the puzzles. I love the neighbor. <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments. You'll see when you get there, you'll know what I'm talking about. I loved the way they used the space, specifically um, toward the middle. I thought that was really incredible. I just loved just really everything about this. I can't speak highly enough about this game. The only thing that I want to make sure that I have made very clear is that if you are a puzzle person and you do escape rooms just to do puzzles and you don't care about immersion or storytelling or any of those aspects, this may not be your game. This game is very immersive, full of storytelling, adventure, and fun, and a little light on like the standard puzzle type puzzles. It has puzzles, don't get me wrong, and they're awesome. It's just not what you would think of necessarily when you think of like a standard escape room. Uh, again, loved it, loved it, loved it. Highly recommend it. I hope you add it to your bucket list. If you like immersive theater, if you like escape rooms, if you like uh, any of that sort of thing, make sure that you make this on your list of things to do. Add it to your bucket list of escape rooms. And again, thank you guys so much for inviting us out. We had a blast. Uh, if you'd like to see more escape room reviews, check out my blog at thehauntgirl.com. And if you have any questions or you're looking for personalized uh, recommendations or any sort of like questions about a game, hit me up in the DMs on Instagram at The Haunt Girl. All right, well, I'm gonna get inside because it's like 20 degrees here, but this was my best light for the video today. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.